we're going to tackle these small kind of leg or standing features on it. Well, we know it starts from the same plane, so I can actually start in that same plane, so I don't need to make a new plane, that's all right. I can extrude it in, I know I'll get that nice curved feature on it. I'm told how far out it is, I'm told it's width. I'm sure I'm told it's height, maybe up here somewhere. What I'm going to do, I know there's some holes in there, so I might just do one leg first and then pattern it over, it's going to be the same on the other side. Um, note, the holes, if you did through all from one side, it would cut through this material here, which isn't what we want. Um, and then there's a weak cutout in there. Okay, so let's have a go at it. We know, we're told, with this 80 and 13. Okay, so 80 and 13. So we're going to sketch in this plane. As we're told, it's flushed it. Open up a sketch. Um, I'm going to go. It touches the bottom, I believe. Let's just double check that. Yeah, it touches the bottom. You see it's flush all along there. Snap it to there. So our dimension 80. Height 13. We've got to center it up. So what we can do is we can, if it's not already centered, we can get its midpoint, get them, the center point, we make them vertically in line with each other. And then we're fully fully dimensioned. So let's go, we can extrude that in. Features extrude, flip it, and we'll go up to next. That nice curved surface. Now I'm going to remove this material in here. Well, I know it comes in 15, and then it's just removed from there. So that nice curved surface in. We have to lock again from here. Right? We've just cut out, but we need to still keep that curve following around the bottom. So the choice for planes is going to be very important here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch from the underside of it. Okay. What I'm going to do is sketch on that. Introduce a corner rectangle. Bring it, bring it down to about here, right? Then I'm going to use circles so I can map out that circle there. Now I know told it's to come in 15 so it's to come in 15 from here so that's got to be 15 and then it's just got to cut through right up until here so I'm going to do a bit of trimming trim that away trim, trim. And we're left with that platform there Extrude, cut that. How much up are we supposed to come? Five. Well, we've three remain there up here. So, cut up ten. Look at what we're left with now. We've still mapped out that nice curve. We've removed our piece. I'm just going to hide that plane. Hide that plane. You can hide a number of things here. Show and hide. Just plane. Hide that. Just getting really close. Finish off in our last video. I actually think I didn't even fully define this sketch here. It's just got to make sure that dimension's in. It's coming from our usual dimension. And uh, we have a bit of freedom here. So what I can do is, well, that point has always got to be in line with here, this edge. Make them collinear. There we are, we're fully defined now. Just to keep us right. Okay, so we'll finish this off in the next video.